Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into a topic that's super important for anyone hitting that big four and zero milestones. You might be feeling a bit overwhelmed or maybe you have to, you are just curious about what you should do in the next decade of your life. Well, you are in the right place. Let's face it, turning 40 can feel like a wake up call. It's a time when you start thinking about your life choices your goals and what you want to achieve before you hit 50. So are you ready to take control of your future? In today's video, we are going to explore seven essential things you need to do before you reach the big five and zero. These tips are not just about making change. They are about transforming your life. You will learn how to assess your surroundings, come to your health and even boost your happiness and uh, let me tell you these aren't just random ideas they are backed by a uh, wisdom from great thinkers like epictetus and norman vincent peel imagine uh, waking up on your 50th birthday feeling proud of what you have accomplished and excited for what's to come Picture yourself surrounded by positive influences engaging in activities that spark joy and living a life that feels vibrant and fulfilling. You deserve that. And all it takes is a little commitment to making some changes now. So stick around because these insights could change your life. Alright, let's get into 7 things you need to do before you hit 50. First up, we need to rejig your surroundings. Take a good look at the places you spend the most time. Are they uplifting or uh, draining, uh, draining your life. If you find any toxic environments, it's time to make a change. Remember, as uh, Epictetus said, we need to regularly stop and take stock. So don't hesitate to take action here. Next, it's crucial to commit to your physical self. This is your health we are talking about. Many people throw in the towel around 40, but let me tell you, it's much harder to get back on track later. Start small. Maybe take a 10-minute walk or drink more water each day. Tiny changes can lead to big results over time. Now, let's talk about your relationships. You need to know who matters. Take a moment to think about people you spend the most time with. Do they uplift you or bring you down? Make a conscientious effort to spend more time with those who inspire you and less with those who don't. Another important aspect is to seek out positive emotions. Uh, life is filled with ups and downs and that's okay. But make sure you have at least one area in your life that brings you joy. Keep track of what makes you feel good and prioritize those moments. Remember, happiness is a habit. Don't forget not to look back too much. The past is behind you for a reason. Learn from it, but don't let it you hold back. Use those lessons to propel you forward. And how about being not boring? Stay curious and keep learning. The world is full of knowledge, so make it your mission to explore it. This keeps your life interesting and makes you more engaging person to be around. And finally, the last tip is to jump with two feet. Whatever you decide to do, do it fully. Don't hold back because you think there might be something better. Embrace your choices and live in the moment. As uh, Norman Vincent Peale wisely said, when you change your thoughts, remember to also change your world. So. What can you do next? Start by picking one of these 7 tips that resonates with you the most. Write it down, share it with a friend and commit to making it happen. If you want to dive deeper into any of these areas, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our awesome content. Let's make these next 10 years amazing together, okay? Thanks for watching and remember your best years are ahead of you.
Until next time, take care. Bye.